Welcome to the Tell Me More Now channel. Do you have social anxiety? Social anxiety disorder, SAD, also known as social phobia, affects many people around the world. This anxiety disorder can be mild to moderate and sometimes only lasts several hours. It can also be long-lasting, preventing you from participating in everyday activities and relationships with others. SAD can be defined as excessive worry and nervousness about social situations and interactions with other people that impact an individual's ability to function. Not all social situations cause social anxiety symptoms in those who are affected by it. They may not exhibit any symptoms of social anxiety at all while interacting with people they know well or are confident they can trust, such as spouses, parents, siblings, children, grandparents, close friends, long-time co-workers, beloved teachers, etc. Here are some examples of social anxiety and how you can learn from them to shed light on this topic. Subscribe to be notified of new videos on self-help, health, and wellness. Social anxiety may cause worry for people having this condition, in the following scenarios. Having to meet complete strangers. When it is required to interact with persons in authority. Being observed while completing an activity that is new or unfamiliar. While talking to extroverts. When the social anxiety sufferer has to attend a party alone. Big family gatherings where there may be unfamiliar people. Attempts by strangers to start conversations, for example, while standing in a queue at a public place. When being teased or made fun of in any situation people with this disorder will take it personally. When required to talk to a class or a room full of co-workers. When speaking on the phone with strangers becomes necessary. Thought of going out on a new date and other similar situations. What could be the reasons for social anxiety to develop in persons? Traumatic experiences in childhood and demanding life circumstances may influence the emergence of social anxiety disorders. The following are some examples of exposures that may result in the person developing social anxiety. 1. Peer harassment consisting of bullying and taunting. 2. Divorce, domestic abuse, and family conflicts. 3. Suffer different types of abuse. 4. Sexual, physical, or emotional abuse. 5. Frequent negative criticism from family members resulting in low self-esteem. How can one cope with social anxiety? If social anxiety is a major problem that interferes with one's daily life, it is advisable to consult a therapist. For other milder cases, taking the following steps may prove helpful to get over the condition. It is known that social anxiety is closely related to low self-esteem and lack of confidence. So, anyone who has these two perceived problems should address them first. Here are some actions one could take for overcoming social anxiety. 1. If you are feeling lonely or anxious, there are a number of ways to take care of yourself. One is to use mindfulness techniques, such as deep breathing and meditation. 2. Engage in social activities by establishing connections with those who have similar interests and values as you. 3. Improve your general knowledge and stay up to date with current events so that you could get involved in discussions. Practice small talk. 4. Join a support group for people having similar problems. 5. Ensure you are well-groomed and well-dressed when you have to meet people. 6. Practice public speaking. Join a public speaking group. 7. Focus on the person in front of you, not the people around you. 8. Engage in conversation with one person at a time instead of talking to several people at once. 9. Be mindful of your posture and body language when you're speaking. When speaking to anyone, stand up straight and make eye contact with them. 10. Try to see the good in the situation or person you're talking to. 11. Focus on small victories in conversations, accept compliments, laugh at your own jokes, and give compliments. 12. Practice with a friend before trying it out with real people. 13. When planning to meet people for the first time, try interacting with them through texting first. 14. Learn how to tell when a conversation is going downhill and change the topic. 15. Practice speaking to people you already know well. 16. Have a plan to handle social situations that you're particularly anxious about. 
17. Accept help from friends and family when needed. In short, realize that social anxiety doesn't last forever and will be manageable over time but consulting a therapist is advisable if it continues to be a problem.